Good morning. My name is uh, Xavier Stephen Bissett. So I'm responsible for ACN's projects in Aleppo. Behind you can see the rubble, which is now mostly being collected from the uh, uh, some of the streets in the in the area around me. I'm in the Christian quarter, where you have around 22,000 Christians still living here. Uh, this morning, you have still at least several hundred people waking up in churches and parish halls, having been fed and sheltered overnight by, by the church and by religious congregations. Uh, other families are waking up overnight, having slept in their car in sub-zero uh, sub temperatures. Uh, uh, at this point, the, the church is now starting to already send engineers into the homes of families as soon as possible to figure out if they're safe for people to uh, move back into, given that aftershocks are still occurring. And if not, what is the work that needs to be done to make it safe or dignified for people to return? Perhaps it is uh, repairing broken water pipes or, or glass. The total uh, extent of the damage is really unclear, especially when it comes to the, the, the uh, various minor degrees of damage that people uh, see in their homes. We don't really know how, uh, how severe or structural it is. So we're hoping in the next week to have a, a better picture of that. I'll add finally that the, the, the situation here is really tragic because even before the earthquake, most people here were living in poverty. After, uh, you know, more than 10 years of war and, and COVID and an economic crisis, uh, the, the government is barely able to supply electricity to the, to the homes. There are constant food and supply shortages. In December of last year, there was a fuel shortage which started in Syria, which has made the situation uh, much worse. So we're grateful for your, for your uh, prayers and your attention and your support. And the church is constantly asking for, for prayers, for prayers for, for Syria. Thank you.